Welcome to another video and today we had to floor press with the fat bar or axle bar. This is, I've mentioned it quite a few times before, this is my DIY do-it-yourself do fat bar that I made a couple of years ago. No, I lied, three years ago now, three, three and a half years ago almost. Um, I, I love that thing, it's excellent. I really enjoy, you know, after all these, like 16 year, years later, I still prefer to do a suicide grip on my bench press and my incline sometimes. I really, really prefer it. I just feel it, that my strongest presses come with a suicide grip, believe it or not. So, but of course, the when you're able to wrap your thumb around the bar, you know, kind of bit of a straighter wrist, not always, depending on, on the person. Of course, the bar is safer and you're able to engage your forearms better so you know like a bit of a kinetic kinetic linking going going on when your forearm is as tight as possible and you break out the elbow you know it's a better connection between the forearm and the tricep and of course the bicep because the bicep attaches to your forearm so i mean it's i mean it it is it is some carryover maybe not immense but there is carryover there and of course stabilization but that being said i always felt like especially when, when i train my grip uh, more frequently if my if my grip if I'm doing my grip training on sand, uh, Sundays or Saturday, then on Tuesday morning I will be using a suicide grip, so I can you know rest my fingers a little bit better, allow my fingers to recover better. Anyway, that was a bit of a long introduction, but I am uh, I am known to do that. I like to overanalyze things. I really like to explain things, and at the same time I'm you know I love to to overthink it and break it down and come back up uh, smarter hopefully and stronger so that's why i talk about these things to you guys because maybe some some beginners might be watching and be thinking oh why the hell is he using suicide grip with a fat bar this is why so i can rest my fingers a little bit, a bit more the working set the working weight today was not really specified um i haven't done uh i don't remember doing floor press this year i really don't this is probably the second maybe the second or at, at the best third session i don't think i've done floor presses three times this year and i felt it and i, I paid the price that's why you see you were seeing me like you know repping that's about about 110 kilograms about 242 pounds uh because the fat bar is a little bit lighter is so it's, it wasn't 115 kilograms like you might have thought it's a little bit lighter than that um and i felt it in the last set i did for eight just for my my ego as in you know i gotta treat this weight a little bit as if it were easier and I made it easier in quotes. Um, if I really had, if I had to stick my neck out, I would have, I would say that I could probably bench three plates of uh, floor press, maybe a little more, you know, around the 330 realm, 320, 330-ish uh, pounds that is. Uh, so, I mean, it's not great. I'm way behind with my floor press. I'm way behind with my preparation. I'm, I'm supposed to be preparing for the, look at that sweat, by the way. Um, for the IPL Worlds, my presses are okay. They're not at, they're not peaking at all right now for sure. But my deadlifts are not, and I you know I need to do something about that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching.